Welcome back to another episode of Made in the Abyss. And as usual, a quick recap to remind us of what happened. But if you want to jump to the reaction, there's a timestamp below. So, <laughs> there's going to be some carnage going on in today's episode, I think. Uh, Idumi's actual daughter, the one that was able to succeed her will and anger, the vengeance. It's about to happen and all these poor citizens of this city. And... At the end, everybody's like, oh, Papata is here. Oh, please save us. We're, we're, we've been waiting to meet you. And they're all happy on that side. Papata just goes on a, like a little... She just shows up out of nowhere. And she's looking at the villagers. Like, it's the fucking Itachi. It, this isn't a spoiler, right? Come on. This is like... This is Naruto content from before. But the Uchiha clan gets executed. Ha ha. Surprise. But yes, she's standing like Uchiha, Itachi right now. Looking down on all these poor clan members thinking, I'm going to execute you all. And she goes on. She There's a difference between how she kind of talks. When she came out, she started to talk like a more mature person. Not the Fapita that we know that talks all childish and friendly with Reg. But totally different tone. But after she says these the really important lines about how it's time for the vengeance to happen, right? It's time for none of you are able to... None of you are going to survive this. None of you deserve... Any sort of redemption, I'm going to call you all. And then she goes back to her normal self. I'm not sure what the context shift there was. Maybe a part of Irimui phasing in through Fapata. Or maybe I'm just, I don't know. I just thought that it was a little bit different. There was some other talks before the ending of the episode where Rico is talking to the captain, right? Wakuzian. And Wazukian, I think? Or Wakuzian. I think it's Wazukian. It's kind of compl complicated name. Wazukian was talking to Riko about the abyss, and Riko kind of tells him, "What if this isn't the gold st golden city that you've been looking for? What if there's more adventure ahead of you for here, for you and everyone around?" And at that moment, I was like, "Hold up, is there a possibility that they all kind of join us?" I personally don't think so. If anything, the p I, we gotta keep our group small unless we're gonna have like, an entire crew. I think that Fabita might join us because of the connection with the wreck, but because that story seems to be going in a direction where we need to basically destroy the curse of this place. We need to free Gidumi, let her rest in peace. I'm not sure if she already is. I'm not even sure what she really is right now other than like this entire environment, but the whole goal is Fabita wants this entire place to get incinerated, free her mom, and for her to finally move on. Kind of like how it was for Nanachi too, but fucking Na Nanachi is the reason why this all happened, by the way, right? Because, what what was it? Na was it Nanachi's fault? She, I mean, she got baited by Belav, right? And then, no, it's it's not no, it's not really entirely Nanachi's fault at all. She just kind of got baited. She just kind of got baited. But at the end, there's also a scene where Nanachi and Belav, uh, Belav kind of tells Nanachi it's time. It's that time has come. It's time to awaken. I'm not really sure what's that's about but Belov's kind of like house is all exposed in the top area and he's leaving out I think he might go meet Fapta I'm not sure if anyone can stop Fapta the only one that really could is Reg but he's already incinerated against the battle against the guardian guy right so now it's like shit what do we do what do we really do Reg is out for like an hour or two and the only person that could possibly stop is down for the count could Rico possibly stop Fapta Mm, based on the look that Fabuta gave Rico, I mean, uh, kind of Rico and Reg when she handed Reg off to Rico, right? And Reg and Rico were kind of vibing, and Fabuta was looking with pretty hostile eyes, so I don't know. But if we're able to say, wait, 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 Reg is my Haku or something along those lines, right? And then Fabuta's gonna be like, oh, you are the Haku that, you know, that Reg went on a mission to find? Maybe that's the way that things are gonna get resolved, but inevitably, a lot of people are gonna get killed in this episode, but let's start today's episode. The rumbling is beginning, Nanachi and Miti. If there's no opening in this episode, it means it's gonna get sh it's gonna get serious. Where? Oh, cool. Oh, what? We got Miti for free. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was quite the trade that he offered Rico, but okay. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. Ugh, just comes out of shit every time. Boundary line. Never mind. She's stuck. Boundary line. Miti can only exist here. But it was created with Bella's value. She's not leaving Miti behind. She's gonna cross the boundary line and make Miti disappear with her own hands. She's doing it. 
watch her start crying and be like, no, I can't do this. Like the time that Rick was trying to incinerate. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait. I wish that she could come with you. Blame the author. Oh no, she's disappearing. Again. Rest in peace, meaty round two. I'm not that emotional compared to season one. That shit was actually so sad. But because, you know, we've gone through that, this isn't as bad, but... I hope she's not suffering as she's disappearing like this right now, though. Poor Nanachi. She had to do it again. No, fluffy smelling one. No, Nanachi, don't cry. Why is the author so cruel? Why is the author so cruel, man? You did it with your own hands this time. No, you've moved on. Get past this. No, Nanachi. Oh, everybody else, they're following. They take the liking to Nanachi. They're going to disappear. Oh, you guys don't have... Or we're... Oh, they're, they're, I didn't expect that they're handing her uh, her clothes, probably. Her helmet and everything. Made plating with outside... You can speak? Won't disappear. Take it with you. Salute, little guys! They even gave her upgraded armor! Alright, Belaf. Can you give us a ride or something? Bell's mask is crumbling. Is that because he also is crossing the boundary lines? All that you gather is your value. Ooh, new blue helmet though. It looks sick. Yeah, we need to stop. Reg, you need to approach. I don't even want to see what the fuck is going on outside. This is oh, dude, this is gonna be so bad. Oh god, everybody is dead. Everybody is dead. Oh my, her eyes. Her eyes are so different. Okay, we gotta show resolve right now. No, just stop. Just stop. You can't do anything about this. Oh. 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 She just went out the eyes. No, don't even bother trying to do that. No, you should just run. Wazukian is still here. The balancing don't give a fuck. Until what? 30 minutes till what? Till everything is gone? Or... You have a plan? You have a plan? Oh. He has a trump card. Not anymore though. Not anymore. Oh. Okay, no, she's able to recognize Reg. Don't use your friends as an excuse. Maybe. You look so scary right now, Papata. <laughs> Little does she know. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. But Nanatsu's already free. This might be all for uh, all for waste. Oh? That dude might live, actually? You're gonna fight Reg now? What you're meant to do. She's crying while she's saying. Reg shows up. This is like Reg with his memories. Which I'm assuming has something to do with Liza also. I'm just gonna assume that Liza sent Reg up to get to Rico or something, but. She can speak a different language. What? You Reg is speaking a different language? Hello. The prince. And you're the princess. I'm also uh, interference units. Whoa, his helmet looks so much different. It's more gold. Right? His helmet looks significantly different. Yo, go back to the flashback. I need to know. Oh, the helmet. That's what these things are on Valpita's neck, right? The ornament on your head. Yeah, those slimy things are going to keep healing her. I don't want her to get hurt and die. I want her to join it, but we just need to make her understand somehow. But... Oh! Gonna... Oh! We're doing some internal damage right now, but Reg, you're gonna be fine, right? I've always wondered what's inside of Reg. Does he actually have human organs and stuff? Like, 
This kind of reminds me of that one time during the uh, Bone Dream movie where Bone Dream also had like tubes up Reg's mouth and there was like liquid just pulsing. Ew, ugh. The stone people? Stone people? What are, the what are stone people? Yeah, what are you? Wagura? Oh, it's my name is... But why is he Reg before he was named Reg, you know? Hmm? There you go! Blow the whistle! Now he's gonna turn all white and silver, right? Boom. Why does it do that though? Why does he respond to... Because it said... It's, a, it's able to bring out the true potential of a relic and... All bad is a relic, right? So, Falpata has never seen this before, obviously, because this is something that Prushka's Musa can only do. Oh, don't hurt her though! No, 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 no. P-Channel, P-Channel! Yeah, just take her somewhere else. That kind stone person. Stone person are all bad, then. The relics are... Also... Yeah, 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 how did she know who Prushka was when she... She was, she was looking directly at Rico's whistle, right? The stone person was not even sculpting them. Some important mechanics right now she's talking about. Okay, what's your plan, man? Oh, okay, he shows his face. Okay, what is your power? Hmm. Come on, Master Chef, what do you got? The most important thing to you. A person's most important thing. But you have two? Three eggs. Vapata was born from three eggs, so you can have three Haku. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Rewrite. Incinerate the walls for me, please. Rewrite is an interesting word to use, though. Instead of saying destroy, he's saying rewrite. Basically, the laws of the abyss, I guess. I don't know what'll happen. You'll pass out. But using it too much makes him lose memory, I guess, based on what he's saying. I'll definitely come back. And we did come back, but he lost the memory. On that Haku will surely... Is Reg's Haku Riko then? He's his mentor, Liza. Definitely Liza, right? I don't know. He's a princess. You need to get married to a prince? Aww. And then children too. Can she have baby? Probably. Together? <gasps> I really like Rick, uh, Reg and uh, Fauta though. We'll set off hand in hand. That's a promise. You're joining the party, right? Who's crying on... Is Reg crying on... She's getting his memories back! Okay! Come on, I come back for you, Fabita. Let's go. Oh, I guess the whistle effect is gone, but we'll go off in hand to hand, right? Yeah, you gotta stop. Come on, right? Come on. The prince is here for you. Just don't die, Fabita. Please don't die. What do you mean, but? His helmet's off. No, wait, wait! You're gonna actually... No, come on, no, 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 no! Why? What the fuck is this cliffhanger? Bro, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! That was such a heartfelt moment there. We're like, Rick's crying on Vapta, Vapta's like, Oh my god, I think her eyes are back to normal. And she's like, you know what? Yeah, maybe we can go hand to hand. Spike, you're a dumbass! And she's trying to bite him to death. I feel like it's not gonna happen, obviously not. I feel like some Wazukian's plan or Bella for something else will intervene. There's no way Reg's gonna die here. And even if Fapta does bite Reg, maybe his exterior skin is strong enough to survive that. But the whistle effect is gone. I'm not sure how much time we can use it. Probably can't use it again, so I don't know. I I, I don't I don't know. There was so much. Flashbacks here. Finally, we're getting more about Rig. Finally, we're getting more backstory, but still not a, just a little crumb. Just a little crumb. One of the most important mechanics here was, well, other than you know how um, 
other than how Sapata was talking about the stone people and the whistle and how she felt that, you know, the whistle needs to be sculpted. And that's kind of why I guess maybe that's why Rico was led here. But the mentor for Reg, Reg has a mentor and everybody's been theorizing for a long time. I think the most obvious choice is Liza, right? Liza went to the depths found an interference unit that's pretty much like a perfected one i i don't know the prince of interference units because everybody else is more like a robotic machine model but reg is more humanoid and i'm sure they exist in the most deeper floors i i, I got no clue. maybe he's the prince of interference units and that's why he's able to bypass the law of usually interference units only stick to one floor but he's able to transcend between every floor right also there's the topic of the creator of who created them. I don't know. Liza probably knows. Where the fuck is she? I don't know. But she is probably Reg's mentor. And she sent Reg to go meet her daughter up top. But along the way, did a little detour. Met Fabita, right? And made a promise that we will go hand in hand. There's no fucking way she's not joining our team, right? I feel like we need another addition to our team. And I feel like Fabita is perfect. She's strong, she's cute, she fits the entire mold of a team, right? But at this rate, she's going berserk. I'm sure she's going to get stopped. I, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the madness and we're going to have to calm her down and we'll be able to go off in hand-to-hand -hand like we promised. But based off of what's happening there with that fucking that cliffhanger, oh my god. No, no, it's going to be fine. Next episode, I'm sure Rex will get saved and Falpata will re regain her senses and you'll be like, you know what? Okay. Well, we still have to. We still have to meet our destiny. We still have to be. We basically said, if everybody in Mother is dead, then Mother can finally be free. Ah, does it really just work that way? I was thinking along the lines of Rex just gonna incinerate the entire environment, the entire building, and destroy. But could incinerate even get that big? And then on the topic of incinerate, Reg from the past was talking about talk Papata when Papata mentioned you have the ability to rewrite, right? But he specifically says, right? I don't know what will happen next time if I use it. Yes, this hand can emit such a light to rewrite the laws of the abyss, right? But the thing is, I can't use it right now. It's on a cooldown, but I thought he could pretty much use it whenever he's awake. But in the past, before, before he lost his memories, he can't use it right now. I have no clue what that reason is because right now, as we know, Reg is able to use it, and then he goes to sleep for about an hour. Was it two hour or one hour? I forgot. But he, he has a little cooldown, then he gets back up, then he's able to use it again. The way he's talking before is like, I can't even use it right now, even though it's probably been a long time since I've used it. And also, I don't know what will happen to me the next time I fire it. The next time he fires it probably was when, in the first season, um, Riku was being chased by some monster, and he used Incinerate to save her, right? And then I guess he lost his memories entirely. And then the most interesting thing is, how did Riku name Reg Reg before he was he was already Reg? And that's probably the connection of the Abyss and something about family bond and the bond of the Abyss because Liza was able to name Reg Reg. Riku instinctively also named him that. I don't know. That's all I got. That's all I could guess based off of what we have. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.